So you don't visualize, or you cannot visualize. Well, let me tell you, you do actually visualize. However, consciously you are not aware of that. And to help you be more aware of how you visualize, what I'm going to do is just ask you a few simple questions to let you know that you actually do visualize. And the easiest questions to ask are, what does your front door look like? What color is your front door? What side of your front door is the handle on? Now to answer these questions, you have to have a visual image in some way. Now you may not see that image as if you're looking at it. However, below conscious awareness, you're seeing that image. That's how you can plan a journey to know where you're going. And that's what you're going to be doing on this course, is answering questions that I'm offering to you. Now, if you find that you can't actually see anything, that's okay. Just be aware that whatever pops to mind after I ask the question is the answer, that you're actually seeing something below conscious awareness. And whatever answers pop to mind, just write them down. And then you'll be constructing an image of yourself, of how you want to see yourself, by writing down those answers. And the other thing is, you can practice visualizing if you want. And a simple way of practicing to visualize is to look at maybe something in the room you're sitting in. Just look at it and close your eyes straight away and see it in your mind's eye. And just think about that image. So let's do that again. Just pick some object in your room. It could be a chair, it could be a painting, it could be anything, it could be a book, anything at all. Whatever's in front of you, even the computer screen. Just look at it for a moment, take it all in, and close your mind. And notice how, in some strange way, you can kind of see it but not see it. It's like it's there and you know what it looks like. It could be a hazy image, it could be a bright image. Everyone is di different and how they see these images. I myself actually visualize with my eyes open. So not for that exercise I was giving you, but if I want to visualize something in the future, I can actually sit with my eyes open and begin to visualize. And sometimes you actually do that when you kind of go off in a daydream and you're thinking about things in the future and you're just staring at something and people may walk past you and you won't even see them because your attention is focusing inside. And that's all hypnosis is. False, focusing your attention inside. And as you focus your attention inside, you can begin to make changes to those images inside so that you can change your life outside. Now another uh, interesting fact about visualizing and why you should visualize and that is because once you visualize seeing this new you in the future, you will be more attracted to that new you. So your subconscious mind will find a way to get you there. And the exercises I am offering you in this course will help you get there even quicker. But you must visualize to know exactly where you want to go. Now, how does this work? Well, it works in, in a similar way of that there's times in your life that, let's say, for example, you if you drive a car, you've picked out a particular car and whatever color, whatever shape, whatever model, I don't know, 
just give an example for the car drivers, that you picked up that car, get that car, and guess what? When you're driving that car, they seem to be everywhere. Now, you never noticed that before. But for some reason, you see these things more often. Because once you get something that's important to you, like the car you're driving, your subconscious mind begins to pattern match with all the same ones. Otherwise, you'd be looking at every car all the time. So that's why when you make changes inside, you become more attracted to achieving that. Your subconscious mind finds a way to get you there. Now, if you didn't understand that, that little um, idea I gave you about having a car, because you may not drive a car. Let's say, for example, there's an item of clothing that you go, I really love that. That looked good on me. Now, for starters, you're actually visualising at some level by looking at the clothing, thinking that will look good on you. So at some level, beyond your conscious awareness, you've actually, actually matched how you will feel good and look good in that clothing. And then when you go and actually buy it, have you ever noticed that I never noticed so many other people had the same thing as I'm just other buying? That's why I bought it in the first place, place because I thought it was different. However, the reason for this is there's a part in your brain called the reticular activating system. And what it does is it matches up everything that's important to you. And once you get something or have something new, make some changes that you, that inside your mind, that everything becomes pattern matching by this reticular activating system. So by making changes to the images of how you want to be, you will get closer to those images. Not in an instant, because it's took time to get where you are now, so it's going to take a little time to get where you want to be. And instead of looking at yourself the way you have been, saying, I don't want to be this way, obviously your reticular activating system is going, oh, this is what you want, and they keep giving you the same thing. So if you do the same old thing, you get the same result. So instead, what you're going to do is you're going to see yourself in the future by me guiding you there asking you a few questions if you don't visualize just write the answers down in as much detail as possible even if there's some questions I haven't asked you and you go oh that's that's that came up just write that down as well because you're building a picture it may be not a picture you can see but when you read back through it you will have this image built up that your subconscious mind has given you and has put together so that it will be more attracted to that new you. And by doing this, you begin to get what you really want. So I hope you understand a little bit more about visualizing and how you can benefit from doing that.